Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to make your very own eggs. We're gonna make our own eggs from scratch, DIY. Just kidding, we're gonna do a DTF hack using our inkjet printer, so make sure you guys stay tuned. The same way I think eggs can be expensive right now, so can the cost of a direct-to-film printer as well as a sublimation printer. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a hack that I had actually seen on TikTok a while back where a girl actually did the DTF hack that we've been doing with sublimation ink. She did it with her inkjet printer, which you guys can grab for like 40 bucks with the inks. So if we can accomplish this, this is going to be amazing. So we're gonna do it today. I have not tested this out at all, so from start to finish we are going to test this guy out and see if it actually works we're going to put it through the wash and make sure that it's going to withhold washing the supplies that you're going to need to accomplish this hack is going to be the transfer powder i'll have this one linked below this is the one that i highly recommend you're also going to need some dtf film so this is actually called pet transfer film now please keep in mind that not all pet film is the same so there's pet film that is very thick like acetate so make sure that it is geared for dtf printers and you're going to be good to go so what it looks like is this so you have a glossy side on one side and then you have a matte side on the other. You're going to be printing on this matte side just like so. So I will have these ones linked down below as well. And if you guys have been following on this DTF hack journey, we know that it was a success with the sublimation printer and that these had kind of sold out. Now I believe that they're in stock and they're not hard like they were before because when something's super trendy, you guys know the deal. But I highly recommend this powder in particular. It's so easy to work with. And like I said, there's not like few and all that kind of stuff from this one. I have tried another one when we did a hack with the black powder and that brand I did not like. It did have a really strong smell and all of that. Now you definitely wanna be in a well ventilated area just as we talk about with any sort of projects like this. So you're simply gonna need those. Now what's really cool is whenever we do a hack like this, it's going to allow you to put it on something that's 100% cotton. So you're gonna be able to put it on canvas, your 100% cotton t-shirts, all of those things, and you're going to be able to accomplish um, a sublimation look or a direct to film look, if you will, um, hopefully using our inkjet printer today. So I'm so excited for you guys. And I'm gonna have this one specifically linked down below. I found this one at Walmart, it was like 49 bucks, comes with the ink, it's a Canon, but you guys will be able to use whatever inkjet printer that you have. So I've got this t-shirt right here. This is just a gilded. And then you're simply going to need your heat press or a Cricut Easy Press of some sort. You could definitely use a home iron as well. So I'm going to be using this one today and we'll go over that time and temp here in just a minute. The last thing you're gonna need is a piece of parchment paper. So let's go ahead and set the timer and temp for the Cricut Easy Press. What we're gonna do is 385 for 40 seconds. I've got this heating up, once again, 385 for 40 seconds. It's always good to go ahead and turn on your heat press, whether you're using a bigger one. It's always good to start heating up your Cricut Easy Press or your bigger heat press while you're prepping for these pieces. For today's design, we are going to be making a Chicken Mama t-shirt, of course, because with the whole trend of the chickens and the eggs and all the things we got to have our own gear whether you guys are going to make an apron maybe you're going to make a pillowcase cover if you guys have a friend out there that has chickens they're going to need this okay they need the apron they need the t-shirt they need the pillowcase you name it maybe a little zipper bag with their chicken on it so there is so many cute ones inside of this one i just thought it would be absolutely perfect and i've been kind of on the fence about which one to use because there's this chicken mama there's rise and shine crazy chicken lady but i'm almost kind of like the rise and shine you guys Guys let me know in the comments below which one I should use. I know I can't, um, I know I can't like read or talk to you guys right now, but it would be nice to know which one you guys would have went to. Maybe it would have been the home sweet home, especially for a pillowcase, but these designs are so cute and they're perfect. Either way, you can search across Design Bundle's website and just type in chicken, chicken eggs. You're gonna find all kinds of cute stuff. So here we go. So let's go ahead and do the rise and shine just because we're gonna be printing on the eight and a half by 11, and I definitely think this would fit on there a lot better. So we're gonna be using this one today, and as you can see, currently it's $2.50, so make sure you guys snag it. I'll have it in the description down below. 
To print this out, I'm gonna use Canva. I wanna make sure I can stretch this out and get the most bang for my buck. I really wanna fill up this eight and a half by 11 sheet. So we're gonna go over here to uploads. We're gonna go to upload files, and then I'm simply just gonna go find my most recent downloads so I can grab that folder. And then we're going to pick the one I'm using. So I'm gonna use that rise and shine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and click on upload. All right, so as you can see, we are ready to go. We're just simply going to click on that. And now I'm just going to grab a corner here and really stretch this guy out. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm staying within my sheet there. So I wanna make sure I don't cut off any of the sides. And the one thing you have to keep in mind whenever you print off is we need to leave room for our tape. So we're gonna be adding some tape to this, possibly. I'm gonna try it without tape. If you guys have been following along with my sublimation hack, I actually tape a piece of copy paper to the back just to help it go through. We're gonna try it without, but if it doesn't work without, then we're gonna try it with that hack as well. So what we wanna do is leave a little gap at the top so that way it doesn't get on our design at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and center this guy up. I definitely think this is good to go. I think this is gonna work out for us and since it's centered there I may move it down because I can always trim this after the fact just to make sure I have enough room to print everything so once I'm happy with this we're gonna go ahead and click share we're gonna click download and then we're just gonna hit download again so as you can see we have this saved here so I actually need to flip this so while you have this selected you can actually come up here to tools and then we can come over here and flip horizontal. So it's going to mirror that for us because we still need to mirror this just as you would if you were working with a sublimation print. So now we're ready to print this out. Before I hit print, I actually wanna load this in the printer. So what I've done to guide this through, I'm gonna test first. I've loaded it with cardstock. So I'm, hopefully that's gonna help it kind of grasp through, all right? So we wanna print on the mat side and the way my printer is on the back. So I'm going to put the mat side forward so it can feed through. All right, so we've got it in there. Hopefully it's gonna be able to guide itself through. Once again, I'm working with you guys at the same time and we're learning. But once again, if your printer doesn't pull it through that way, try to add that tape. I'll have the video up above so you can see that. You may see it today, but um, you could definitely try it that way as well because all printers are or not the same. Here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to file and then we are simply gonna go to print. And then we are gonna go ahead and choose our printer, which mine is on the Canon. One thing that you can do when it comes to printing through an inkjet, you can come through here and click on the media. You can choose your paper type. So for example, mine is on auto select. I'm gonna try it on that first, but you could also choose glossy, which is gonna help those wheels grab that. So if it doesn't work on auto, the next thing I'm gonna try is that glossy just to see if that'll help grab it as well. And I may even need to add a couple more pieces of copy paper. I tried to really load that guy up to what you would normally have in there. So we're ready to go. We're gonna attempt to print it. I hit print, so let's see what happens. Y'all, I am shook right now. It printed on it. It printed, and so let's hurry, okay? So we're gonna put this down because you wanna do this while it's wet. I've never worked with the ink jetty. You want to take your powder and, by the way guys, if y'all purchase this one, it has a scoop hidden down in there. You'll eventually find it. We're gonna get this covered quickly. I'm worried because I don't know how fast this ink dries compared to sublimation ink. So you wanna be ready to go. So already have your stuff ready and you're gonna do just like you would with the sublimation. It is working just the same. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be shook if this works and does not wash out. Okay, so we're gonna do that. This is gonna save you guys tons of money on DTF transfers. Okay, we're gonna shake it off just as we normally would. Looks great, I'm making sure I'm not leaving any of the extra dust. Looks perfect, oh my gosh. I'm not even lying, y'all, this worked. I cannot believe it. This is crazy. Okay, let's see if it works completely. Here we go. So we're gonna set that aside and then you can use this powder over and over and that's what's really, really nice about this. So we're just going to put this right back inside. All right, so let's get going. So we've got our heat press, it's already ready to go. 385 for 40 seconds. I'm gonna get my t-shirt. We're gonna get up here on our Cricut pad. I'm gonna smooth everything out. Just like normal, we're gonna go with our heat press and we're gonna smooth everything out. So this is going to smooth it for us and it's gonna pull out all of that moisture. You do not want to skip that step. So we're gonna do that now. Then you wanna let that start to cool back down before we try to place this. And then we're gonna go ahead and trim this off. Now, if you guys didn't watch my DTF hack with sublimation ink, you guys may not know, and I know a question is going to be, do you need to cure this? So when it comes to curing, what you do is you're going to place this down. I think that's good enough. 
and you would hover your heat press over it for about a minute or so. And what that's actually doing is it is melting your adhesive on here. That's gonna be perfect if you're gonna store it, if you're gonna ship it and all of those things. But if you're making this, you can definitely get away with that. But what you wanna do is be careful because this powder can fall off. Don't stick this on the t-shirt and rub it around. Make sure wherever you stick it is where it's going. So if you're somebody you feel like you need that extra security, go ahead and cure it by drying that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy right about here. Looks good to me, just making sure I'm nice and even. Perfect. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it. You can add some heat tape if you want to, and this is going to be a cold peel. Do not try to peel this hot or it's gonna be unsuccessful. Peel this guy cold, all right? So you could definitely take some heat tape if you want to because this guy is not holding down, but I'm just gonna go over it with my parchment. So we're gonna take our heat press here, cover the entire thing. We're gonna hit go 385 for 40 seconds. So I'm giving it nice, even pressure. All right, so we've got two more seconds. This is gonna be the moment of truth. I'm so excited. All right, we're gonna get that out of the way. We're gonna move our parchment paper. Color looks good. I'm really, really excited about this. We're going to let this completely cool down. So I do recommend that you move your heat pad out of the way. That's gonna help it cool down even more. Once again, I've talked about this before. If you guys have a granite countertop, uh, you can definitely cool this down faster if you have a cooling stone. If not, just let it set here, kind of fan it a little bit. So I'm gonna let this guy cool down and we'll be right back. All right, so here we go. It is cooled down. Let's get ready to peel this guy. So I'm gonna get a corner here. Oh my gosh. It worked. It worked. Why have we not tried this before? Why have I waited so long? I've seen this video and I've only seen it once, so I don't know, I don't remember who did it. Um, all I know is I've seen it one time on TikTok and I thought, you know what, middle note, I'm gonna try that, we're gonna test it out. And um, we were going over videos the other day and I said, you know what, I've seen this, we need to test it. Why we have not done this before, I don't know. Now the truth is gonna be if it's gonna wash out, I don't personally think it's going to because the adhesive is on top to lock that in. So we're going to put this through the wash though. We're gonna test it out. Once again, this is 100% cotton, but you guys can see these colors here. I'm gonna bring it up and it's awesome. So you guys, depending on what size printer you guys have for your inkjet, um, you guys are gonna be able to do as big as prints as you want to because they do make this material bigger. So if you have a printer that you could do 11 by 17 and they have this material, you're gonna be good to go. But highly recommend y'all don't skip out on this one. I really, really love it. I do not have any weird fumes. I don't have any of that stuff. Just please make sure you're working in a well ventilated area and uh, you're gonna be good to go. I love this. I'm gonna bring it up so hopefully you guys can see a little better there. There you guys have it. I honestly was not even prepared because I have not tested this yet at all. I did this here with you guys. Not live, but technically live. And so you guys have seen my first reactions on this and working. I didn't even know if it was gonna pull through there. This printer was awesome. Like I just kept it on auto, you've seen that. It did not fight to pull it through or anything. And let me show you the stack of cardstock that I'm using. Hopefully you guys can see this here. It really is not much. And so this is actually a mixture between cardstock and a couple sheets of sticker paper. So it's really not that many. There's maybe possibly 15 sheets here. If that, I'm counting them. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight pieces of cardstock. It, you don't have to do it with the sticker paper, obviously, but this is just what I had. One, two, three, four. So four pieces of sticker paper, eight pieces of cardstock. Um, you guys do the math on that, but you just need, you know, it, you, I didn't have to have it fully loaded. So awesome. I'm really, really excited about it. So let me go ahead and go toss this in the wash and let's see if we lose anything. If this is a success, y'all, we're about to be doing all kinds of these transfers with that inkjet printer. I am so stoked. You guys let me know in the comments below if you guys are gonna test this with your inkjet printer. So this may save you guys some cash on sublimation as well as direct to film. Um, this stuff actually will last you a long, long time. I did get 100 sheets of this here. Um, so I'll have both of these, like I said, linked down below that I'm using. You're gonna be able to do this on 100% cotton. I do believe you can even do this on some poly blends and stuff too even canvases, all kinds of stuff, pillowcases, tote bags, you name it, you can put it on there. So I'm super, super stoked about it. So like I said, let me go throw this in the wash and we'll be right back. And we're back with the moment of truth. Okay, so this was a win and a fail. 
So I'm really excited because it did stay. I mean, you can see that still. We've still got, I'm gonna bring it up so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. And I'll also drop it down here so we can kind of zoom in there so you guys can be the judge of what you guys think. So as you can see, this color is still really, really good. The black, tremendous, which is the same inks but the black held out absolutely insane. The leopard print is still pretty good to me. So is this here, a little bit of that color in the tail. This was more of a pinkish color. So the pinkish in his um, in his head and on his little beak and stuff here, and then the pink of this is now tan. This has been washed and dried. So when you wash it again, this is it's not gonna lose any more color. So this is where it is. So you can always test this out. I mean, if this is something for a DIY hack for at home, you probably wouldn't be able to get away with it selling it. It still feels the same, so nothing there, but you are gonna lose some color with that initial wash. But if you're happy with the look of this, you're still good. With the black designs, so if you guys wanna see me come back and do this again with a solid black design, let me know, because look at how good that black is. The black is perfect. So you guys can see that leopard print, you guys can see where it says rise, but that black is absolutely gorgeous, which is kind of crazy. So I also wonder too if you did this with a black laser printer, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too sure about the zinks and stuff, but it would be really, really cool to come back and do it with an all black desi design because I think that's gonna hold it better. I still think it looks really good. So if you did not know that this actually was more of like a, some pinks, so different designs, we'll see how this goes. So if we wanna do some more tests and just kind of really see how more designs and solid black and all of those, let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely willing to come back. So. I don't know, y'all be the judge. Do you think this was a success or do you think like me where it's kind of 50-50? It, it, it worked, but we did lose just a little bit of color and that's the problem because of the inkjet. Um, so keep that in mind. So definitely let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Should we just completely call this a fail or do you guys call it a win? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new here and you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you guys don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.